everyone, and welcome back to Hamilton Life. I'm Linda Rourke. Well, there's all kinds of it words when it comes to our health, and one of the it words I hear a lot lately is detox. Everyone wants to detox. So, Shelley, first let's start with that and, mm -hmm. and the fact that I think there's a lot of misconceptions around detoxing. Absolutely. So, first, when I hear people talk about detoxification and toxicity, they're kind of terms that make me cringe a little bit because... I feel like people get this idea that it's all about um, environmental toxicity. You know, this is a natural process. Our body creates natural toxicity through metabolism. That's why we have a liver. That's why we have kidneys. Um, so it's important to realize that this happens every day. And Tyler talked a little bit last week mm -hmm. about why it's important to eat in such a way that's going to support that daily m metabolic process. Um, but when we do talk about what people think of as a detox or a cleanse, we sort of look to a number of different things. Okay. Um, I always encourage people to do their detoxes or cleanses supervised because it's not a good idea for everyone. No, and you can um, have so many different reactions to stuff. So. so many different reactions, so many problems with if you have, if you're on medications, um, if you have current medical health issues, particularly digestive uh, constipation, if you're pregnant, hoping to get pregnant, lactating, mm -hmm. no detoxing. Yeah, so get the right information Absolutely. from the people who know. What are some of the things you brought in here today to show how to support a detox? So a nice safe alternative is to focus on something nutritional. So this is an example of a nutritional detoxification support. So uh, this gives your body all of the nutrients that it needs to support phase one and phase two liver detoxification. Oh, okay. So it's not as stimulating as some of the other products. It's supportive. So it feeds your body the nutrients that it needs to Which detoxify. Which often we don't have anyway. Right. <clears throat> and then we can go a little bit more aggressive and look to things like herbs. Our big herbs are milk thistle and dandelion. Yes, both of which I've heard are great for detoxing. Absolutely. So these focus, this gets into more organ support. These focus on your liver um, because your, our liver is our primary organ of detoxification. So they push a little harder. And this is where you want to make sure you're not on a lot of medications, particularly ones where the goal is to keep your medication at a steady state in the blood. Um, and then we can also look towards organ support, um, accessory organ support, so all of our secondary organs of detoxification like your colon. Um, and this is where digestive health comes in. Uh, it's really, really important to have effective elimination because once we push our liver with all of these herbs to eliminate all that toxicity, we have to eliminate. Mm -hmm and get rid of it. So if you're constipated, you should not be detoxing. If you do find during your detox you're getting a little bit constipated, helpful to do um, osmotic-based laxatives like a magnesium oxide. Um, this is geared towards kidney support, so lots and lots of water, flush it out. Okay. Uh, and then you can do blends. So these are, these are... So these are more kits? This is a kit. So they focus on liver support, fiber support for colon health, and laxatives. Um, not everybody needs the laxative, so it's also important to get some guidance how to use the kit that you purchase uh, because ideally we want good healthy bowel movements during detoxification, not, um, so it's not everyone needs the, the, the laxative effects. Yeah, and I think heading up you know, to, to a place like yours in the community is great because you can provide people with the information that they need. So if, if you are thinking about doing something like detoxing or a cleanse, talk to the right health professional. Shelley, thank you so much because it is really important and, and I support this because I've, I've done many things and without the help of you know, professionals in the community, I wouldn't have done them right and you know different things have happened to the body and I'm like oh man I need these answers and properly, lots of people so. lots of people do find when they do detoxes they get sick yeah right absolutely. and that's why we don't encourage detoxification during winter months we're already battling with colds and flus and yeah. immune stresses and and this is another physical stress for your body a significant physical stress so um, people will often get sick when they do detoxification and uh, particularly if they're overstimulating or not supporting their body in the right way perfect thanks Shelley we go from talking about detoxing being healthy to chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate, <laughs> that's not a bad right. dark thing. Dark chocolate's not, not a bad, bad thing. And making chocolate can be a lot of fun.